Brian Foster with your PCOC news and information you need to know right now. Now, you know, because of the ongoing challenges related to COVID-19, there has been a numerous discussions over the past couple of months about how the pest control operators of California will get through this period. And the simple fact is, is it's going to take all of us working together. Now, the cancellation of the legislative days and the expo has certainly had an impact on the organization. And to get through this difficult time, you know, we've established PCOC Online. Now, this is going to provide an easy way for anyone to make a voluntary donation to assist PCOC during this difficult time. Now, there you're going to find an easy way to donate to Club 2020, the PCOC Cares, and the Scholarship Foundation. Now, coming soon to PCOC Online, you know, there's going to be stores available for the California Professional Women in Pest Management and PCOC. Now, once these stores are established, they're going to let you purchase some great merchandise that will go a long way in supporting PCOC. So stay tuned for more information when those stores will be up and running. Now, there's going to be a link in the notes for PCOC Online, so that way you can go and make your donation today. Now, during the June 25th Virtual Board of Directors meeting, the 2020 to 2021 Executive Committee was sworn in, in which this included swearing in new Secretary Chance Howe. Now, let's jump over to Chance to hear what he has to say about his new role as PCOC Secretary. My name is Chance Howell. I am uh, currently Southern California Regional Manager for Clark Pest Control. I've been uh, with Clark and in the industry for 19 years. Years ago as a technician, uh, my boss, Steve Adams, had uh, mentioned during a staff meeting uh, PCOC and uh, put a sign-up sheet on the bulletin board. And uh, I thought, you know what, if I'm going to stick in this industry, I need to really understand everything about the industry and how it works. And I thought that'd be a great first step. So I signed up. Subsequent to that, I, uh, he invited me to a couple of district meetings. Um, the district then uh, sent me to a couple of uh, leadership back-to-back -back years. I went to the PCOC leadership training and that's where my eyes were really opened to the industry and the work of the industry. And, and uh, I had just been operating under the assumption that everything took care of itself. Well, it, it doesn't. Uh, that's where I learned that if PCOC and, and uh, you know, w the work that they do for the industry down at the Capitol and the relationships that they have with the Structural Pest Control Board and DPR, um, that, that all took a lot of time, effort, and it was all done by volunteers from the industry. Um, after that, coming back from leadership, uh, those two leadership trainings uh, got involved at the local district, Big Valley District, uh, Tom Graston really was the, the guy that uh, provoked me to, to get, take a leadership role. So became a director for a couple of years, transitioned to vice chair, chaired the district for a couple of years and uh, have been a director there ever since. I'll be coming in as the secretary. Um, I'm sure uh, Tom and the rest of the staff will have a long uh, list of things that I'll be responsible for, but the, the real point is that's where you start the six year journey uh, of service on the executive committee. You come in as, as secretary. So I'm looking forward to getting that six year journey started. Obviously as secretary, I'll be responsible for taking uh, meeting minutes. Um, and then they will, what, I think what the executive committee does is kind of uh, divide up responsibilities with the subcommittees amongst the, the executive committee. Um, so we'll all be responsible for a portion of that. And we'll be just supporting those committee committee chairs and whatever they need and just kind of, you know, uh, really, I think that's where you get your feet wet on the executive committee and kind of learn the work of the, uh, the full-time staff and the executive committee. And we'll just continue our mission and kind of constantly upgrading the industry through our association. We've got a lot of work ahead of us. Uh, as we've all seen this year has brought a lot of uh, unprecedented challenges and circumstances that none of us could have forecasted. So our business and industry and climate is always changing, uh, even in uh, so-called normal years, but, but uh, we have a lot of work ahead of us and it's only gonna be done if we get involved. Uh, us, the people that make our living in this industry, get involved and step up 
And, uh, you know, it's really important, I think, to, to when you think about our mission statement through envir environmental stewardship and legislative advocacy, we protect people, property, and our food supply. So that, that is our why. So if we, you know, I think if we can stay missional and stay focused and stay involved, do those online meetings. Um, we've got exciting changes and updates to the website. We'll be able to contribute um, to, to um, the scholarship fund, to PCOC advocacy. Uh, we've got some, we're really just gonna leverage technology uh, more than we ever have before. And, and um, it's important even with these advances in technology that we don't forget if we don't do the work of the industry, it won't get done. So please step up, get involved, and uh, and make your contribution any way you can. Now I'd like to thank PCOC for partnering with the Pest Posse to bring you this PCOC Minute. Now if you've not done so already, subscribe to the PCOC YouTube channel. Also be sure to follow us on Facebook and LinkedIn for updates on news and information that's important to you pest control operators here in California. Now, thank you for watching this PCOC Minute. Please stay safe and stay healthy.